Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and as promised, I am going to start doing full mod guides on all of the blasters that can take the K26. The build videos will include how to uh, add the spring, how much spring you're going to need, air restrictor removal, as well as how to properly brass the barrel, or at least my understanding and my way of doing it. If you have a better way, do feel free to explain it in the comments and I will improve my process as we go. Remember children, always use protective gear. This is why I was not wearing my gloves. The good news is my Etsy page now has a proper blood sacrifice to make sure that it is honored by the war gods. Okay, so let's pop this thing open and take a look. Fairly simple internals, which is nice. Uh, this is a beautiful blaster, in my personal opinion, and I'm looking forward to getting it painted up. In general, the amount of K26 spring you're going to need is going to be the same as the original spring. So K26, or at least the stuff that I've been getting, comes in an 11 inch, 11 inch section, and you're going to need something fairly stout to cut it, either uh, a cutoff wheel on a Dremel. I've been using my bolt cutters, and they work very nicely. Uh, do keep in mind, I like to uh, bend the very tip in so it's a little bit, you have a more even press, uh, like most springs. Most springs, the very end is curled so that you get a flat, uniform push. I try to do that as best as I can with the K26, just using a pair of pliers. Um, some blasters cannot take a K26 spring that is the same length as their original spring because of the amount of compression that is required in order to... Uh, get to the catch mechanism. Uh, the way you can get around this in a couple of ways. Uh, sometimes you can get away with just a slightly shorter spring. Uh, in general, you want to have at least enough spring so that the plunger is tight in the tube. So for instance, this one could actually be slightly shorter because it's actually longer than the plunger tube, but having it a little bit longer allows it to make sure that the plunger rod is nice and seated. Uh, if it won't pull back because it's too tight, you can shorten the spring a little bit, or you can go with a much shorter spring and put in another much lighter spring to hold the plunger tube, but you are going to lose some of the power of the K26 since it's not the full length of the plunger tube. But these ones, it fits in nicely. For max efficiency, you will want to remove the air restrictor. The uh, plunger assembly comes apart and uh, the air restrictor is then very easy to remove. Okay, so for brassing the barrel, you are going to need a section of 17 30 seconds inch brass pipe. It makes it a half inch on the inside. Nerf darts are in fact 50 caliber. And then you're going to need to bore out the barrel a little bit. This is what took so long and why I haven't had my Etsy page up yet. I needed to get an appropriately sized drill bit. So I acquired a 17 30 seconds inch drill bit. And now I can bore out the barrels so that I can easily get the brass into them. I will also be removing the air, uh, dart peg mount so that the barrel can be a little bit longer without actually extending outside of the barrel because I don't, well, I prefer to have a, a shorter barrel. I'm sure longer barrels are probably better. And if you want one custom made with a long barrel, do feel free to request it. But uh, for my own personal ones, I'm going to go with a short barrel. I can't actually test the difference in velocities yet because I don't have a chrono. I would like to get one. I'm toying with the idea of putting up a GoFundMe to get a chronometer so that you guys can benefit from me being able to do actual proper tests. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. I'm going to start drilling out this barrel. Okay, that is the K26 added, the air restrictor removed, and the barrel brassed. Let's give it a shot. This is just beautiful. 
Absolutely beautiful. As I said, if you want ones with longer barrels, that's perfectly okay. I don't like having brass sticking out the end of my Nerf guns, uh, but that is a personal preference, so feel free to uh, request whatever you want when you have yours. Paint jobs are also going to be available. I've done a number of different kinds of camouflage paint jobs. Obviously, I can do solid paint jobs. As long as they're not anything too crazy, I can probably do them. So. There you have it. This will be up on my Etsy page as soon as I can get it there. And thank you for watching.